Ever since I was young, I've always been fascinated by dolphins. And as soon as I learned that to study a dolphin, it's marine biology, I decided that's the course for me. Marine biology covers more animals um, and conditions in the ocean, whereas oceanography is a lot more maths and physics-y. Um, and then when you combine the two together, you get the whole picture of what's really going on. So most of my time I study at the National Oceanography Centre, which we call NOx, just to shorten it. And that's where all the marine and earth and ocean scientists are. So we've got geology, geophysics, marine biology, oceanography and there's so much going on there. We've got lots of boats, lots of ribs. We've got computer labs, there's a huge library. I think it's one of the biggest in Europe for oceanographic materials. And then there's a really big sort of canteen restaurant cafe area that looks out over the dock. The people teaching us on the course is definitely a bonus. For example, one of my lecturers last year is an expert in coral. Um, not only is he an expert, he's the world expert. So anything you want to know about coral, he will know. And, it's so lovely to see them around the National Oceanography Centre and if you've seen something on the news or you've read one of their papers and you want to ask them a question, they're just there and they'll answer it and they're so happy to tell you and to share knowledge with you. So I'm a member of both the Kite Surf and the Surf Societies and we regularly go on trips away during the days and on the weekends. So some weekends we'll go to Devon and we'll surf or other weekends I've recently been to the Isle of Wight to kite surf when it's windy because it's so close we can just check the forecast and off we go. We'll message each other and be like oh what, what are we doing today, Like, what are our lectures and if the waves are good we'll literally go to our 9am, we'll go to Bournemouth and surf for a few hours and then we'll be back at uni in the afternoon and go to our 5pm lectures. I'd like to be a researcher and collect my own data on whales and dolphins and then maybe work for an organisation or start my own but then I'd really I think love to come back to Southampton or to another university um, to be a lecturer because I've just had such a good experience with mine that I want to be able to give that to someone else as well.